Oh, 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 no. Okay. Woo. See the smoke? And I don't know if you saw it. All right, I'm going to put you in there so you can see. So it has something to do with this reel. Okay, last night was not a fun night. <laughs> we, we lost some power. Um, I had some issues. I'll try to show you real quick. I don't, I don't have a lot of time, but I want to show you a few things. It's about seven o'clock this morning. And if you know me, I am not a morning person. <laughs> well, it's laying here on the ground. So the watchdog, you know, normally plugged into the power pole. Last night, we were in a different spot. To show you we've been in that spot that empty spot over there and like kind of near that big pine tree we've been under there or there in that spot for for months well yesterday we had an issue where our shore power stopped working and like there's no power from the pole and we thought it was a pole issue and it still may be but we ended up moving at nine o'clock last night over here to this spot and as soon as i plugged the watchdog into the power and then click the power on, it made a very strange and odd and sort of loud clicking sound. A clicking sound that was much louder and odder than normal. You know, it makes a thunk when you first turn it on. And uh, this time it made a, I'll try to reenactment, reenact it. <laughs> it. It made a da, 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 clunk, 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 kind of sound. <laughs> Enough that it, it actually kind of scared me and jarred me. I'm like, whoa, what was that? And I come over here and I look in here and, and I see a tiny bit of smoke and I'm like, that's not good. So I run back over and turn the breaker off and then that's pretty much where we've been all night. So shore power is disconnected and this is an IOTA ITS 50R automatic transfer switch. There's recalls on these and I don't know for sure that this one is subject to the recall, but it probably is. But either way, I am gonna replace it. I've ordered a replacement transfer switch. It's a little bit bigger than this one, but what I wanna do is pop this cover off and get in here to, one, I need to figure out which leg is the generator because this is shore power. Shore power comes out of this lower unit, it curves around and goes in here. So I know this is shore power, but what I don't know is, is this generator in or is this out to the RV? And is this generator in or out to the RV? And you might notice something. See that all disconnected there? That's not supposed to be like that either. This, I don't even want to touch it while everything's, there is energy there. This is a plastic cover. It's got some little tabs on the side that are major pain in the necks to get off. Like you should be able to just, pull and do that and it's not coming off so I'm gonna get a screwdriver but first task get the thing off second task try to figure out which one's generator in and which one's power out to the RV third task is I'm gonna turn the generator off and tighten down some of these bolts because loose bolts is typically what causes the issues with these and it's kind of recommended you know, I don't know if it's stated anywhere like official, but it's, you know, in the communities I see it, lots of other places I see it, it's recommended to check these, the bolts that are holding down these wires like once a year to make sure they're torqued down to the right spec, that they're tight, that they're snug. Because that's one of the things that causes RV fires is those bolts get loose as you're bumping down the road. And if they get loose enough, you don't have a good connection. And that, that not good connection is what causes heat. That heat builds up and then you catch on fire. Nobody wants to catch on fire in their RV. So let me see if I can get you in a good spot and I'm gonna try to get this cover off. And I'm having to go in a little bit here because we are trying to get... The other reason I'm in here too is this does feel a tiny bit warm. It's not alarmingly warm, but I'm like, but it's just warm and I don't think it should be warm at all. And I'm very interested as to what I'm going to find in here when I get this cover off. Believe it or not, the job's more important than the video. But I love you guys. And I thank you for watching. There we go. Okay. Shore power 
comes in. And so red, white, and black here are shore power. Which is really surprising. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an extra. <laughs> Seems odd. One, two, three, four grounds. There's only three. Oh, the the last one is is this extra ground. This is basically a ground for the whole box, so that makes sense. That's that's how it's supposed to be hooked up. I'm sure that's the way it's hooked up. Well, either way, I'm gonna shut the generator off for a little bit, verify this is dead, and tighten some tighten some bolts. So I'll be right back. Okay, generator's off. Everybody wants to not be dead. We're not dead. That's my little backup multimeter. That is zero. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold this on this ground. Hope you can see that. If not, I apologize. I'll try to make a better video in the future. Okay, no power. I don't have an exact torque spec here, so I'm just going with tight. Not crazy tight. One arm tight. Hello, little frog. I'm gonna need you to get off that breaker real quick. Can you, can you kinda, I know, I know, I'm sorry. There you go. All right. Power's off. I've already tested this. I test them every time before I plug my watchdog in. And we're gonna do a power test run. That came on. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Woo! See the smoke? And I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I'm gonna put you in there so you can see. So it has something to do with this reel. That was on the list to be replaced anyway, but now I've got to deal with this. Safety first, never last. Have a future, not a past. Have a future, not a past. That's my motto. What's your motto? <laughs> All right, well, so we, we've determined, I don't know if you can see it, right here ahead of my screen. See that little piece of, this is like an M, I mean, I know that's a piece of dirt, but that dark spot right there next to the left of my screwdriver blade, it was an ember, like a burning piece of fire dropped right there. And so that's not good. I'm gonna take off these bolts. I'm gonna start getting this reel out of here so I could figure out, I could, I could take a look. Basically what it is, I know the problem is with the shore power, uh, either with the cord or the reel, it's actually not with the transfer switch. This one's broken. That's nice. So have to sort that out when I get back. This one doesn't want to come up. There it goes. I've got to disconnect it somehow over here. And I, did, I got to disconnect the control circuitry for the automatic reel part. And I got to figure out how to do all those things. Ding, 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 ding. If you can tell I like power tools. Some people be like, you shouldn't use power tools. I'm careful. Make sure I'm still alive. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna go with disconnect over here. I'm gonna take this cover off. I probably have to unwire it from there. It's getting hot fast. It's only like 750. I haven't told you, this is one of my favorite, call it, additions to the toolbox. Look, it's the inside. Mm -hmm. 
So it's later in the afternoon. I am tired. I'm exhausted. I did not get hardly any sleep last night. I, I'm up researching power problems till about 1230. Go to bed with the generator running and I'm just nervous that there's still a power issue. And so I'm sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> Went to bed at 1230, woke up at 230, woke up at 530 and at seven I just got up. It's one of those things too, like every time the air conditioner shut off, I woke up. You saw earlier the, uh, the smoke and all that so we know we know the problem child <laughs> it's this guy right here not this guy this guy this is a problem child so we brought it over to our daughter's house and it's all disconnected i've actually ordered a new one and it's going to take a few days to come in so i was trying to figure out what's a good solution for moving forward getting power right now the rv's hanging out running with the generator and stuff so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this cable, get the wires made up like these. I'll have to go buy a crimp, uh, crimp on, uh, what do you call that? You know what I think, one of these things. <laughs> and basically I'm gonna cut this wire, make it up like this, and just go hardwire it straight to the RV, which is pretty much the way it is. But basically I'm gonna take this out of the mix because I think what's going on is that there are brushes inside here Maybe for fun after I get done doing some of this stuff and I'm not as tired, maybe I'll uh, drill out some of these rivets and stuff and get in there and show you. But I'm assuming like any other rotary electrical type equipment that there's brushes that maintain continuity between the four wires on one end and the four uh, pieces of the plug on the other end. So right now, working with my handy dandy backup multimeter because it's the little one that goes in my electrical bag. I can do a continuity check. And I don't know if you can hear that beeping, especially with the air running over there. There's, there's continuity. So if I want to see continuity from one end of this piece of metal to the other, you know, I, can, I can do that and it beeps and I get all these zeros listed there. I don't know if you can see all the zeros. But that's what I'm looking for. Basically what you get is one of these is red, one of these is black, I don't know which is which, and one of these is ground and one of these is neutral. I can't remember which is which, but a quick test will be able to tell. So I can take this red here and this one. So red is connected to this, and if you can hear it, I'm getting connectivity. Beep, 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 beep. And so that means this other one should be black. So we'll connect this and touch this and see we get connectivity there too. Sorry, my hands are probably all, all in the way. White, I think is this one. Notice I'm getting nothing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe white's this one. I'm getting nothing there either. I'm getting nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. So white is not the white wire somewhere between here, up there, through the reel, all the way down all this wire to here is not getting it. There's, there's a break in the line somewhere. And if I had to guess, it's on this, this rotary part. And then the other one is the ground, which should be this one, but I think it wasn't working either. Yeah, let's try this one. So both my ground and my neutral are not, no connectivity. So I think, and I hope that, again, that the problem is inside this rotary piece. So if I cut this right here, then I'm gonna have good connectivity. And again, then I'll be able to make up these wires. I'll even be able to use this uh, pass-through collar through when you're going through into a metal, metal box. That's the plan, to make, cut this and make this look like that, and then just go plug it in until a few days later when uh, when my new new reel gets in. That's the master plan, let's do it. Now I haven't ever worked with wire this big before, so I'm also like, uh, I don't know if I got the tools for this. Got some sketchy pair of scissors, those probably won't do anything. Got a pair of wire cutters. Here, let's just go, let's just cut, that's not gonna work. It's the best knife I can find, good old steak knife. So let's uh, try to let's get you up here a little closer, closer to the action. One thing too is that ultimately, and I'm doing this also because I have already bought a new reel. I'm just waiting for it to get shipped and get here. Get 
these bad boys on here. Should have four wires. White, black, green, red. Here we go. Still a little bit of that, but let's see. Here's one, oh, there's two, three. Oh my goodness, that is some rough stuff there. Look at that, ta da! All right, now the reel is completely disconnected. Let's take a look at the cable without the reel, see if we got good cable. So let's go red. Red to the outside is good. Black. Black to the inside is good. White. You got any guesses? Which one of these do you think is white? I think it's this one. Let's find out. Ready? White. Ah, see that was not working earlier. Now green. Green to here. Come on. Oh, that's good sound. So. That tells me that this wire is good from here to here. So now, just need to take this thing off. Okay, a little more stripping because I need to get these exposed like this. So we got all these prepared. Don't need that anymore. Got all these stripped and prepared. I still gotta go get a lug. That's what this is called. This is called a lug. I gotta go get a lug for this bad boy. And then, uh, and then we'll be ready to go back to the RV and hook it up and have power from shore power instead of from the generator. All right, we'll see you at the RV in a little while. I'm gonna rewire this cord directly to here where we took it out of earlier. Uh, I need this little ring to uh, to attach to right there to hold it in that entry. And then we're going to turn the power on and see what happens. So that's the plan. These are red. These are white. This one's black or blue. So that's how these wires are going to connect on here. And then the ground is obviously going to go on the ground. I think he's freaking me out when it does that. <laughs> so let me, let me just move this lid off to the side so it's not bothering us. All right, where's my ring? Here it is. Need all wires to cooperate with me. So I'm not worried about this being super secure. This is more about just getting it close so that, one, so I don't lose any screws. Take our tester for the shore power, double check that it's good, and go over here and test. Okay, so shore power is off. I'm gonna plug that guy on the watchdog. I'm gonna turn it on. All right, 
That's a good sign. That means the watchdog's working. Okay, correct power configuration. The watchdog isn't mean and red. The breaker's on. It's not making any weird noises like it was yesterday. I'm actually going to put you... I'm going to put you over there. You're going to get the first look. Let's see what happens. Watchdog's on. Watchdog click. 119. So what I'm reading is this little digital screen right there. Leg one, 119 volts, zero amps. Leg two, 121 volts, six amps, 60 hertz, normal. All right, so it says everything is normal. Leg two has is pulling nine amps. It's probably some of the lights and stuff. I think the uh, inverters on that leg, the battery charger. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Nothing has smoked. All right, so I need to turn it off so I can put all those covers back on and then we'll re-energize again. Okay, it's cover time and then gonna be done time. I don't like these. These have these little tabs. It's like you gotta push this whole box in and get them to do that. Not a fan, not a fan, but it is what it is and <laughs> the sucker's getting replaced. I think these things got, well, I'm putting a new one in, so. I did it. <laughs> when I put the new, when I put the new transfer switch in, I will make sure and do my best to not cause the same situation. It was fun and exciting. I even used this last night. Put it on the cord, make sure nobody, no friendly uh, RV neighbor says, oh, your cord isn't plugged in. We should plug that in for you. I don't want that. Go, go power on time. It's on. It clicked. That means power's over here. All right, let's run some big juice through this thing. How's that sound? Does that sound like fun? Let me turn on the air conditioners. All right. Leg one, 14 amps. Leg two, 11 amps. We're cooking with gas now, folks. Both of these are on, and that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna close here with some thank yous for watching. For now, so we're, we're done with this temporary fix, and you saw what we did. We figured out what the problem was. We saw the smoking gun, <laughs> and uh, we took out the reel where the problem was. We spliced this cable and routed it straight in, which many RVs are done this way. Lots of RVs don't have reels, and they're just straight in just like this. So that's why this is really no big deal. So we're going to close this up, call it good, and go inside and enjoy the air conditioner. We'll see you next time. This is Dave's Tech Tips for RV Shepherd, hoping that you will have a great time in your RV and that you will have many roads and many miles with very little trouble. Have a good time, guys. We'll see you later.